Hi everyone, it's me, Beatty Kelly Sunflower. So I thought I'd hop on today and do a unboxing, flip through and first impressions of a very much awaited deck. So this deck is called the Music Tarot, Be Guided by the Stars, 78 Cards. So I've had this deck on pre-order for about 18 months. It's been one of my longest pre-orders. So I'm glad it's finally been published. Tune into your inner wisdom. Be guided on your tarot journey by the brightest stars of the music world. Each artist reflects their card meanings from Nina Simone as the moon to Bruce Springfield as justice. Inside, you'll find four 78 card deck and a booklet with guidance on interpreting the cards and conducting your own readings. Okay, so it's a pull-off box. It hasn't got the bits where you put your thumb, which is a shame, but these ones are a bit difficult to open sometimes for me when they haven't got that thumb insert. That lovely mint green. So you get the cards, take these out. So let's put the cards to one side. So, Music Tarot, Guide to the Musicians and How to Read Their Cards. Okay, it's quite small writing. So, it's published in 2023 by Lawrence King Publishing Limited. I love that it's got cream paper, though, so it makes it a bit more easier to read. Introduction. Tarot has origins in both Europe and Asia. It is based on a combination of a standard 56 card playing card deck and an added set of 22 trump cards now commonly referred to as the major arcana roughly translating from latin as secrets according to the historians the complete 78 card format we see today first emerged in northern italy during the early 15th century. It gives you a bit about the history in the first paragraph. Um, then it says, A piece of music is made up of several elements that help us connect to it, including its rhythm, pitch, tempo, melody and harmony. This connection may be instinctive or intuitive, we might not know exactly why we, we like a song. Songs often tell stories and the musicians who perform them have their own life stories and performing personas. Whether these stories centre on romantic interests, life struggles or dreams and escapism, music allows us to encounter and work through our own emotions. The cards in the music tarot feature iconic and notable acts from the world of music, each one relating to the archetypal qualities of the cards they represent, either personally or through their material themes. Tarot readers of all levels of experience will find it easy to connect with the archetypes in interpretations as they express familiar characteristics and behave in recognisable ways when dealing with life goals and events. Well, this talks here about um, some more historical uses of the tarot card. Um, it talks about the tarot journey. It's just basically just historical. Because it's quite small, it's quite um, difficult for me to read. So it, it tells you how to begin a reading, um, how to draw interpretations from the cards. And then it gives you some spreads. It's called the Music Tarot Spreads. So it's got the Solo Act, which is the one card spread. Stage and Crowd. It's a, it's a three card spread. Power Ballad Fulfillment, which is a five card spread. And then for each of the Akana cards, it gives you like a, um, a colour picture. Um, it gives you the name of the archetype, the name of the celebrity or the, or the music. And it gives you um, some meanings. And it's got some like keywords for that. So it does that for each of the for each of the major cards. They've got their own explanations. 
But when it comes to the minor cards, it talks about the suits. Um, the numbers up to ten, up to ten, so that's the numerology aspect. Um, then it goes into the court cards, but for each suit, there's no picture. It's just um, some keywords or a sentence for each one. And I like how the book's got a picture. So this is a wand. This is a sword. So you, so you kind of know what suit you're talking. What suit is being spoken about? If you're reading pictures like me. So that's that. So it's a very basic kind of little book. It's not numbered, but hey ho. And then the um, author and illustrator. So Diana McElbon Collins is a UK based tarot consultant, co founder of the Tarot Association of the British Isles, and author of the best selling Tattoo Tarot, as well as the Tattoo Tarot Journey movie tarot and the tarot coloring book okay and then um alex alexandria hall is an american illustrator and muralist based in nashville tn which i think that means tennessee her work showcases colorful surreal depictions of our world and the people that inhibit it she is inspired by travel ex experiencing nature and connecting with other artists so let's have a look at the deck so let's take off this paper so let's have, let's have a look at the cards first of all for size so if i compare this to the out of the void cat tarot which is a normal rider weight smith size I would say that this tarot deck is is like a Rider Waite Smith size tarot it's quite rounded but it is the same kind of size and I, I love the backs it's, it's got like a sun kind of like a sun with an eye it's beautiful and it is reversible as well <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to try and name some of these celebrities as well. So we've got the four. The magician. The high priestess. This is definitely Beyonce. Pregnant. Prince for the emperor. I'm not sure who the hierophant is. And this looks like Yoko Ono and John Lennon for the lovers. Jimi Hendrix for the chariot and it's got his two guitars one black one white to represent the spins I'm not sure who this is the justice the hermit David Bowie for the wheel of fortune beautiful strength that looks like Christina Aguilera the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, The Devil, Oh, Tupac for The Tower, The Star, this is um, Nina Simone for The Moon. I think when I first pre-ordered um, this deck, this was the this was the front cover, but they've obviously changed it since. But I do like this picture, and you can see the crayfish and the dogs. Beautiful. The sun. Judgment. Oh, Stevie Wonder for the world. Okay, so this is the pentacles or coins. I mean, it looks like they're colour coded because these are green for the earth element. Oh dear, so they're pips. I wasn't aware that they were pips because that, that wasn't clear when I first pre ordered it. But hey ho, it doesn't matter. Five of coins, six, seven of coins, eight of coins, nine of coins, and ten of coins. 
So the court cards, we've got the page of coins, the knight of coins, the queen of coins, and the king of coins is Biggie Smalls. So I'm assuming that he was a F sign, maybe. I don't know. So the cups are blue. So again, they're color coded for this is for the water element. So I have been willing to learn pips, so this is a good way for me to start learning. So you've got the page. I'm not sure who this is, I'm, I'm assuming he's a country and western singer. But he also looks like the younger version of Al Green. Uh, with this. Elton John is the King of Cups. So the swords, again, is blue. Is it the same sort of blue as the cups? Yes, it's a blue. Again, beautiful pips. And I, I like the pips represent, the, I like the fact that the pips represent the elements. So it's swords for pips and Pentacles for pips, not not just pips, if you know what I mean. And some of the placements are quite interesting as well. So a page of swords is Amy Winehouse. Knight of Swords. This looks like um Whitney Houston. Looks like I don't know who the King of Swords is. Now the ones are kind of orangey for the fire element. different positions of the sun going through each card. So you've got the page. This looks like um, Little Richard. I don't know, possibly Madonna, I don't know. And the King of Wands. That looks like um, Mick Jagger, a younger version of Mick Jagger. Okay. So let's see how the cards shuffle. They're just like, they're kind of like Hay House cardstock. They're kind of matty. I love that click, click, click when I'm shuffling cards. Um, just a smooth matte finish. It's not edged, so you can put your own touch on it if you wish. Okay, I'm going to try and find, um, um, see if I can get a major arcana so I can read it from the booklet. I might just choose one. Okay, let me choose this, um, this card, the moon, and I'll read out for you what it says in the book. Let's bring it down a bit. Okay, so the moon. Life lesson. Know that difficult feelings and situations will change and this too will pass. The singer is, is Nina Simone. And then it says, night energy, twilight, reflected light, illusion, deception, uncertainty, errors, trickery, dishonesty, danger, terror, power of feelings, hidden forces, developments, underground, undercover or in the womb. The moon conveys intense emotions, energies, press up from below, which feel uncomfortable, that sometimes they are just not as they seem. Keep it simple. Delay important decisions and actions until any confusion or trickery atmosphere clears. Nina had a big voice, a huge one. Her voice was one of profound sadness. A Nina Simone song is a late night listen. Something to put on when you're face to face with the moon and the stars. That's beautiful. 
So what are my first impressions? I really like this deck. I don't think you have to necessarily know who the musicians are to be able to read this deck. And I like that because I, I don't know all the musicians, but it doesn't take away <gasps> from me reading this deck. Um, I'm a bit surprised at their pip cards, but they're quite nice because the pips represent each element. So the wands are, are branches with leaves sprouting. And there's always seems to be like a sun going through the wands and it's got like the kind of uh, um, fiery colours and some more. So the swords are again just sword pips which I like and so on and so forth. So this is a long awaited tarot deck and I'm looking forward to working with her. I will leave a link in the description bar should anybody be interested. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.